I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Baltimore Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake admitted in a press conference that she asked the Baltimore Police Department to give those who wished to destroy space to do that. We also gave those who wished to destroy space to do that as well. Oddly, not the space where her stuff was located. While we're in Baltimore, we found the 2015 Mother of the Year, and her name is Toya Graham. Toya is the mom who was seen angrily reprimanding her son in a viral video for throwing rocks at the police in Baltimore. She says she smacked her son for one simple reason. He is her only son, and she doesn't want him to be a Freddie Gray. You know what? We need more moms like this. Somebody please build a statue of this woman and put it in front of the mayor's house. Pope Francis is encouraging Catholic priests to stop delivering boring sermons. Show slides, do hand puppets, serve drinks. You gotta put fannies in those seats, Padres. Americans tend to gain weight as they get older, but a new study finds that the quality of their diet generally improves at the same time as they gain weight. So the obvious conclusion is as you get older, if you don't want to gain weight, you should spend more money at McDonald's. A Texas state trooper has been reprimanded for posing for a photo with Snoop Dogg at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin. That's because the rapper has several convictions for drug possession. Billy Spears was working security at the event when Snoop asked to take a picture with him. Snoop then posted the image to Instagram with the comment, me and my deputy dog. So cops can't pose for pictures with those who have a criminal past? How do you avoid it? How are you supposed to protect those people then? That's like half the entertainment industry and all of Congress. The owner of an Illinois bar is defending his decision to have a two-way mirror in a women's bathroom, saying the woman who took the video of the mirror ruined his funhouse gag. Female comedian Tamale Rocks posted a video showing a two-way mirror in the women's bathroom at the comedy club Cigars and Stripes. The owner, Ronnie Lotz, says the mirror is staying. He claims the mirror was part of his live art, and that Rocks, who posted the original video, simply wanted attention, which she got while going to the bathroom. Yeah, uh, it's a gag, all right. I feel like gagging as I read this story. Doctors traced an Arkansas man's kidney failure to an unusual cause, his habit of drinking a gallon of iced tea each day. The 56-year-old man said he drank about 16 8-ounce cups of iced tea every day. Black tea has a chemical known to cause kidney stones or even kidney failure in excessive amounts. So do what I do. I drink 16 8-ounce cups of Pepsi each day instead. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. Get more weird news at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. Until next time, keep it real. Weird.